Hey everyone, it's Tom Crowder with another Rockstar Minute. So the biggest thing we look at as real estate investors, our number one risk is interest rates. The US just slightly raised their rates. Now Canada is expected to raise their rates. So our question is, what's gonna happen over the next year? The US has said they're gonna raise in March, June, September, and December of, of this year. That would be a full 1% raise. Here's why we don't think they can pull that off. If you look at the data, and we're gonna put up the US debt clock here, the national debt's $21 trillion. If they raise their interest rates this year 1%, the additional interest interest payments that they would have to make on their debt would be $210 billion. If they go ahead over the next few years and raise interest rates three or 4%, they would essentially more than double their deficit. The current deficit is $734 billion according to US debt clock. If they raise their rates 4%, which goes back to kind of historical norms, they would more than double their deficit. We can't really see this happening. How are they gonna raise their rates 4% over the next few years? They might even stop this year and not even do the full per percent. And historically, we're gonna throw up another chart now. Historically, Canada follows whatever the US does. So if the US might stop earlier than they have forecasted raising rates, maybe Canada stops too. So our question to ourselves is we always have to be paranoid, right? As real estate investors, we are long-term positive, short-term paranoid. That's the way we look at the markets and that's why we're so focused on interest rates. But it looks to us that although interest rates might creep up a little bit, much longer term, like a year, two, three years, they might not be going up very much uh, at all because they just can't afford to do it in the US and Canada then might not follow raising their own rates. Just something to think about. I got to address the jacket before we leave. The Leafs are entering the playoffs. We're huge Leaf fans. I've been a Leaf fan since I was a kid. I used to stare at a jacket like this and wish I had one. I never had one. So I bought myself one in anticipation of the Leaf playoff run going deep this year. We're super pumped. Go Leafs go. Until next time, your life, your terms.